What is up guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Sir Chompy Face here and today I'm back with a video review of Call of Duty Zombies. So I'm doing a review in three parts, so first part is Zombies, so if I can fit the others um, I'll try and get them into here. Um, so Zombies, there's actually a lot to talk about for once. Um, so Zombies for me is the best part of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And that's the one thing I was, I'm actually quite shocked about. Um, because I never would have thought that zombies, as a game mode by, in, in, you know, Infinity Ward, never never built zombies before. Bear in mind, they've never built zombies. Something they're trying, like Advanced, Advanced Warfare tried it, and they really fucked up. They did it really badly, on my, in my opinion. That's my opinion. I think that Advanced Warfare zombies were the worst zombies so far. Um, Black Ops zombies, were, Black Ops three zombies, were right. I just thought I'd put there. They're all right. They're, they were all right. I'm not saying they're the best. Um, everyone's quitting. Oh god. Um, so, so Black Ops three zombies, the other right, and this zombies. Wow. Just wow. I have never had so much fun playing Call of Duty zombies in my entire life. And to get into a lobby takes five seconds. The quickest time I've ever loaded into a zombies game ever. It's absolutely amazing. So to get into the action really quickly, really really quickly. It does have its faults. We'll go over the faults at the end, towards the towards the end of the video. I think I'll just stick this one video as just the zombies review, um, mainly because there's a lot to talk about in this one, um, and you know I've got a lot of a lot of appraisal for it. So it's called Spaceland Zombies. I'm sure you would know by now. It's called Spaceland Zombies. You know it's pretty well known. <laughs> um, so basically it's set in a 1980s sort of um, Spaceland theme park and my god does it get the setting right I've never seen so much a neon themed 80s fuck fest in my entire life it is fantastic it's absolutely brilliant um, whoever designed the map I really do I, I take my hat off to you I really really do and it's the and I've got to say it's the first time in a zombies game well, I don't give a shit if there's a zombies boss, and I'm going to explain that as well. That's all coming up. So, map design itself, my god, it's brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. Split up into a few different sectors. Uh, there's about one, two, about, about three, I'll, put, I'll class it as three different sections. Um, unless you split the off the, guys, the side here from the arcade, the um, then, then there's about four or five. So, four, about five different sections. And so, this is the start now. You always start in the same area in this map. Um, always in the same area, and um, the best the, the best thing about the map is, as I said before, it flows. So you can go from one end to the other end. Um, apart from one part, which is cut off over there to the right, you can't, you, which you can't really get to unless you unlock the door uh, or somehow get in there with the power on. And I haven't found some sort of route to get in there without, you know, opening up the main door for it. But apart from that, it's not a problem at all. And to be honest with you, it has quite a few new, new different things. So the area is split up by, by doors. So this is the first door, it's only 750 points, so the most, you know, cheapest door ever, and it, you know, you haven't got to buy both doors here, it will unlock both when you go through it, so it won't, you know, it won't hold that one like that, it will just do both. So, that is really, really fantastic. Now, when we, you know, as we get more into this game, um, you know, you're going to see more of the map unlock. Now, I might just unlock this now, because I've got enough points, yeah, we'll go through. And I'll show you guys the next part. Now this is something really good I really like about this map. Is that now they've got these shared doors. Now a lot of people don't like them because they cost a lot of money. I think it's a good idea. Because a lot of people who point hog and they really want to get new weapons. Want to go for the doors. And it encourages people to each put a thousand points in. And if you think about it, it now makes the doors cheaper for yourself to get through a door. Because I don't know how many times I've been in a zombies game where I've been felt, been felt, you know, felt forced to open the first door all the time and spend all my money on doors uh, and everyone else getting all the guns, you know, eventually catching up, you know, to get all the, you know, the cool stuff, of, of, you know, later on. So, um, for this one, I think it really does encourage teamwork and it encourages people to share the points, especially with it straight away, look, ATM here straight away. So if you die and you respawn at the beginning and you need some points, um, you can get them straight away just for out of ATM. So as long as one of your teammates drop it inside this point here, the deposit point, your other teammates can collect them on the other side over here 
and it makes for some really interesting gameplay, especially for teamwork. If you're a massive team player, then this, you know, this map and mode is definitely for you. So moving on to the next part, the weapons. My oh my, moi. Um, a lot of people hate supply drops. Don't get me wrong, I feel you. I get it. I get it. I know why you hate it. But the multiplayer, I agree. I agree that supply drops are a piece of shit and should only be cosmetic only. But for zombies, for the co-op zombies mode, my god do they make sense and my god do they work. Now you might be looking at this view wondering if it's worth playing zombies just so you can get your keys for multiplayer, which is fine. But I may try and convince you to, you know, hopefully in this review to play zombies over multiplayer because I think that the zombies mode will prove you that the, you know, the, the supply drop system is much better. Now, as you know, you can get guns through supply drops and salvage using salvage. Now, you can't get, you can't get salvage in uh, zombies. You can't get salvage unless you get enough keys to get supply drops. So, you, but you do get keys. That's all I'm saying. You get keys, and keys in it. And these keys will unlock supply drops, which you can then, you know, you can save up for a rare supply drop, or you can save up for a, a common supply drop. Uh, if you get a common one, uh, you know, a lot of the time you've already got it. You know, when you start first off, you're not going to get much salvage at all because you haven't got most of the stuff. When you start unlocking some of the stuff, then you'll start getting seeing a few bit of salvage come through. You know, you can start building up the salvage from there. But apart from that, you know, you'll start unlocking guns. So it's really awesome. Like this gun here, I am no way near you know enough salvage or oh, have I ever been near enough salvage to get this gun this is a legendary gun okay it's a semi-automatic normally it's a burst fire pistol this one can get uh, headshot kills up to wave 13 instant headshot kills it is absolutely good bit of kit and it was one of my first supply drops I got out of zombies and it's you know because it's in the starter room as well to get you to wave 13 on just this gun alone is absolutely amazing so you can see me using this gun a lot so I'm going to do some live streams coming up so you will see me you know play through some of the maps uh, well not some of the maps there's only one map at the moment but when the other maps do come out I will be playing them um, so you know you'll see me use this gun a lot because this is my probably say one of my favourite guns in the game so so as I was saying get onto the supply drop system as well as unlocking guns and stuff you get the different variants of guns so in this like you know as I said, I've got this version of the Burst Fire Pistol, the Hailstorm. Um, what is this called? It says that the Ordnance. It's called Ordnance Custom, maybe? Well, Custom is going to be because I customised it, but I don't know if it's called Ordnance. Um, but it's absolutely amazing bit of kit. It's an epic, it's an epic gun. So, very, very rare that you'll get the gun. But if you do, congratulations, you've got one of the best guns in Zombies. And it'll surely get you a lot of points. Um, because it, it just absolutely destroys everything. Hopefully, it won't nerf it because I think it's a brilliant, brilliant gun. Um, um, as well as a few other legendary guns I've got out there, I've got the the Mauler uh, legendary gun, which makes it slower fire rate, but does a lot more damage. And when you add that with double tap, and you add like extended mags to that thing, my God, have you got a gun for zombies? So the supply drop system, you know, it also gets you camos as well. Um, so if you want to use different camos and you you know you, you have, before you have to play multiplayer all the time to get the camos for your guns well you can do it for your zombies now apart from the multiplayer camos which I still think they should allow for some way of unlocking them in zombies like getting headshots in zombies or something like that you know um, to unlock them apart from obviously the, apart from I don't know actually I don't know I think, I think people should be able to get all camos in zombies so yeah I think that's pretty fair you know because I'm not a big mob especially this multiplayer um, and I'll, I'll explain why, um, as I said, coming up um, in, in the next review um, for the multiplayer, and you'll probably see me play some, and I'll be very, very bad, I can guarantee it. Um, so, coming up to more parts of the zombies, why I like this zombie so much. Um, the boss, there's a boss in here. I'm no, I've, I've never been a fan of boss zombies inside zombies, because I think a lot of time they make them too hard. This one, however, is fair. It's not hard, it's fair. It's, you know, well, it still is hard, you know, harder than a zombie, but um, it's got to be the most, oh, just leveled up. It's got to be the most fairest um, boss zombie I've ever seen. First, you can't damage it at all. You have to shoot it enough just to take the helmet off, which you can then put it back on if you stop shooting it. So you have to keep damaging it every so often. But once you've got the helmet off, 
after about four rounds of going into it, the boss is dead. Um, and four, and you know, you'll see the boss maybe in about a few minutes if we get to raid 10 before this review is finished. If not, I'll do a part two so you know we can really show some more of the boss, you know, gameplay. Um, so the boss is absolutely fun to destroy. He's not, you know, he's not a menace. If he does get you cornered, he's easy to get away, especially with the slide system. It's fantastic on the slide system because if you get cornered by a zombie, you can just run around and slide. Um, and you know, it makes really fantastic gameplay just to run around the map a lot of the time, get some kills, and you can really train some zombies by doing it. Um, you know, really great way to survive as well. So carrying on with this, the next part of the thingy is the power system. They've changed how the power systems work. Um, so from now on, there's a switch in these maps each for each one. Um, so each switch will then activate some will then activate the power for each section, um, which then there's teleporters. Teleporters in each section. Um, when you link all the teleporters up, um, you can see we've linked up the far right one there. Once all four are linked, we can then go through to the pack a punch area and pack a punch our guns as the pack a punch has returned. And I think it's a pretty simple system. I don't like the Easter egg ones where where you know you have to get an Easter egg, doing a whole Easter egg just to get the pack a punch. I fucking hate that system. That's one of the reasons I hate Black Ops 3 for that. I absolutely fucking hate having to do Easter eggs, um, which are so hard. When they're when they're easy, it's okay, you know. Because you just you know you just make the game too hard sometimes you know and people are supposed to enjoy the game. I know people say oh you're a pussy you just need to get better at the game. No, I would I like to enjoy the game. And if I can't enjoy it because I can't get to the pack a bunch because they have to lock it behind an Easter egg, I find it in, un, very unenjoyable. So as you know, dogs are gone. We've now got clown rounds instead, which are really easy to do. Apart from when they swarm me, sometimes you know normally the first few rounds they're spread out evenly and everyone gets a certain amount of clowns go to each other at different times or at the same time um, then sometimes in the later rounds especially when you lose a few people um, or even sometimes you're all four people the clowns will then go after one person and you know that's when you can really get hectic and you know you've got to really use your dodging skills and you know just your skills in general to try and dodge the clowns and not try and get blown up by them because it's not the hit damage they do it's the explosive damage that they do which you know it may, it reminds me of sort of like Gears of War when the little um when the little, uh, I've got what they call now, the little crawling things just come up and explode on you. Uh, it's just like that, and they work just like them, and I think it's fantastic. They've done a brilliant job on that. Um, I've also got a new system um, for the for building equipment now. Um, it's the souvenir, so you get coins, you get these different other coins, and when you put these tokens through to the, the token machines, um, depending on what, what order you put the coins in or colours and what colours you put in, you would get a certain item come out which you can use like a boom box which is pretty much pretty much monkey bombs because monkey bombs are no longer in the game and now in equipment um, which is one thing I, I you know I'm not sure if I'm happy about but I haven't noticed really much difference without the monkey bombs to be honest with you because the way they built the map it just works as I said so I haven't really noticed too much so I'm gonna cough down through I do apologize <coughs> so it doesn't you know it doesn't really make too much difference in it um, uh, we start, we're going to start getting to the bad points very, very soon now. Um, <laughs> getting close to the bad points. Um, so I don't think there's much, really much to left apart from the perks. The perks are all back in from Black Ops um, and you know, throw out zombies. So you've got your double tap, your juggernaut, yeah, you know, your speed cola, everything. They've all got different names now just because I don't know if it's still licensing or whatever. But um, I, I don't think it should be still licensing since, you know, the hack division owns both fucking zombies or, or own the name. I think they own the name to Call of Duty. Um, I, I think this is just licensed out to Infinity Ward and some of the others. Um, so, yeah, um, for some reason they've changed all the names up, which, to be honest, it, it fits into a really 80s way though, so it does suit the map as well. So, I'll give them, I'll give them credit on that. It does suit. Um, yeah, and zombies now, if you notice, zombies now drop stuff. So, like, they drop uh, grenades and ammo clips and cash. And oh, one of the last, so we're getting to the last thing now, which is the tokens. Um, this is before we get into the bad thing. So the tokens, um, they, can, they can, you can spend them in the arcade. Um, so you can either get ammo refill, some parts for the Easter egg, or the, you know, the wonder weapon. Um, but it's really, really, really awesome, really, really awesome why they've done it. So you can actually play these arcade games if you want to try and risk it during the match. Um, um, you, when you, when you go into Afterlife. Unfortunately, you don't get the, um, you know, you can't earn tokens, which is the last thing really is the afterlife we're going to talk about now. So the afterlife, um, instead of dying and waiting.